All right, yeah, so yeah, we're recording. You got me? Yep. I have a little bit of an echo in my head, but I'm sure you're not getting an echo, are you? No, but um, but uh, what do you call that? Uh, the, the quality seems to have dropped just a bit. Just a bit? Yeah, the, the, All yeah. right, maybe I'll turn off my Wi-Fi here. You sound like a robot for a bit. Do I? Okay, no, you're good, but... No, nah, well, I, I I got me here clear, so it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, it's our bonus our bonus episode number eight. We're almost done with the season. Mm. I, I I could feel it. I'm like, okay, I need a little bit of a break, just a yeah. bit. I could feel it. Uh, but yeah, we're getting close. So this week, uh, I want to. We're gonna do our 25 minute again. It's another 25 minute episode. We're gonna be talking about. Mm. I kind of threw this one on you, but we're gonna be talking about white fragility and white narcissism, mm. and and, and uh, entrance. In, in interest convergence, uh, which is a, 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 a concept that was created by the law professor Derek Bell, who passed away in 2011. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about these kind of concepts in preparation for next week's episode, yeah. where we shit on, we make it more personal. <laughs> but yeah, so okay, so we're gonna, so uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll start the clock and then uh, we'll get into it. Okay, and I guess yeah, this is gonna be. It's going to be interesting. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can do 25. Let's see if we can do 25. Let's see if we can do 25. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're in it. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so let's start with um, white fragility. Basically, white fragility. Let's start with the definitions. Basically, white fragility is like the, the, the pressure that white people might feel or do feel when they have the slightest or, or the, the anxiety and stress they feel if they have the slightest pressure from uh, uh, racial discussions usually, right? Like, so, if you know, you're talking about a race and someone's like, you're, you stop talking about race, you're the racist, <laughs> right? That's white fragility. Yeah. White, white narcissism is a concept that I just discovered last night because I was like, oh, this, this feels like there's some sort of narcissism. It's the idea when white people identify with, I guess... Uh, the lack of a better term, the slave owner or the uh, whatever that's they okay, they yeah. identify with their whiteness, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. So then when they so so it's um, like Trump, he identifies with whiteness and the greatness of whiteness, correct? And because there's no real personality, and not that he's accomplished stuff, and so there's an anger like most narcissism when they come up with the reality of say someone like Obama, who's uh, infinitely better than him. Sure. There's a there's a cognitive dissonance, and 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 it kind of hurts. Right. It's it's like uh, it's uh, the opposite of narcissistic supply. It's narcissistic damage. Mm. So it's uh, it's you know it's it's you know it's that anger that they they get from from the reality of things where you're supposed to not, I'm supposed to be automatically better than you, mm-hmm. and also it's also centers around the idea of that you know. Uh, most things revolve around me. So if you're talking yeah. about something, if you're a black person talking about whatever, say race or whatever, mm-hmm. in their minds, it they it's about them or about whiteness. You're always you always have the white gaze, no matter what. That's how they can't see you without the white gaze because they don't exist without that. Okay, okay. And then uh, interest convergence is just the idea that uh, white people will only understand. Uh, racism and fight racism when their interests converge with racism. So they have to be involved with racism. Uh-huh. But they got to be on the front It line. has to affect them. It has to affect them oh. before they can say, oh, yeah, we should do something. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, that, sorry. like that scene in Straight Outta Compton where um, they're in front of the studio and they get arrested by the cop and Jerry comes out and, uh, oh, these guys are, these cops are fucking with my money what you guys yeah, do exactly. to racist? You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that's the best way to describe it. That <laughs> is, that, scene, yes, that yeah, is the yeah, best. Yeah. That's why they always talk about economics, right? Yeah. That's why whenever they talk about, you know, identity politics are horrible. Yeah. We need to talk about real politics. Real politics. And when they say real politics, they mean their identity. Uh-huh. Hey, real quick. But I, I, I just got to just say, because you used a lot of big I just, words let me just, boy, let uh, me just, earlier Let on. me just finish this one point. Let me just finish oh, this sorry, one point. Okay. Because their identity is considered the norm. Like that. Like, again, we sure. go back to uh, white narcissism. Their identity is considered the norm. Sorry, uh-huh. go ahead. Uh-huh. No, I was gonna say is <laughs> for the for the B, uh, the B black out there in the audience going, what the fuck? There's a lot of big words who you know who, who didn't. Listen. <laughs> Pretty much everything you're describing is you're putting a label on things that we've known as black people, but yes. we're never able to articulate or never had to articulate. But now it's as if someone. So as if a white person's been doing a study and wow, this is who we are. This is who we've been. It hating. wasn't. It was a black guy. It was Derek Bell who came up with uh, critical race theory, 
And and a lot of people hate critical race theory because they think it's postmodernism gone awry. You know, Jordan Peterson. Oh. But it was just like the study. He came up with this, uh, all this kind of stuff and all these ideas. He didn't come up with um, uh, white narcissism or or white fragility, but he came up with the idea of studying mm. race in a critical way. Gotcha. Like science, scientifically, he's a lawyer and he's a professor. Uh-huh. He died in 2011. Um, so he came up with this idea of after the civil rights movement because he was. He, him and, and, and a lot of other people were like, well, the the idea of post, uh, 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 what's it called, classical liberal, the idea of like, oh, um, talking about race and the, the idea of like color blindness uh-huh. and, you know, uh, respectability politics and stuff like that uh-huh. is like, it still keeps power, the majority of power in white people's hands. Mm. Like it doesn't center black people. It, it, it keeps most of the power in white people's hands. So he came up with critical race theory gotcha. where you, where black people, go, it's actually very healthy for me. I find wow. I, that's why I like this. Why I like the podcast. Uh, yeah. cause I've dealt with white narcissists who decide that I do shit because you know, I'm trying to trigger white people when in fact I'm re- uh, most of this is to help out other black people yeah. or other ethnic people or other minorities. Uh-huh. And my own, a lot of it's my own self healing. Mm, a lot yes. of this shit is just like I get to talk to another black person or another yes. ethnic person yes. and heal, and and, and and then do research on it. So if you have like technical terms on shit, uh-huh. you can actually understand. Oh, this is what's happening. Yes, you can you can understand your thoughts better. Yes, yes, exactly. Well said, well said. Yeah, that's I, that's how I feel. I I, I, I love it. I love it. Um, I, on my end, my end is this week. Uh, I had a revelation that made me think about this podcast is uh, we were talking about, I was having a conversation about the concept of literacy and, mm-hmm. um, and, and, and I remember telling them the, the comedy diversion. I was saying how I remember when someone said, those who do not have access to the internet will be the next illiterate. And now oh, wow. I'm starting to wonder whether those who are unable to learn from other people's experience will be the new illiterate. Huh. You know, so um, for a perfect example, I remember when Ka- uh, uh, Kathleen Wynne posted or some thought piece about how sexism played a part in her um, in her career as a politician. Yeah, and in the comment section, it was dismissed by dudes thinking that yo, where she's making excuses, you lost, you know, <laughs> some use you know, call, calling her a bitch, all kinds of stuff like that. You lost, yeah, and, and nothing, and. It, to me, I found it weird is because had she posted an article about how the world is flat, I would yeah. understand. But she's talking about something about her own perspective. The, I mean, the worst thing you could do by listening to it is disagree. I don't know, not disagree, but I mean, you learn something new. Wow, I did not see it that way. I guess some people are just not interested in other people's perspective. The only thing that matters well, is their own. I guess that's what I'm getting at. Well, it's very fucked up to take someone's experience and go, oh, that doesn't exist. It, it I mean, is that's fucked up. called gaslighting, right? Like, you're, you're telling someone that something doesn't exist. Mm. It's very abusive. Re- it's, it's, like, your reality is your reality, whether you agree with, whether somebody else agrees with it. It's also, like, the, the, like the nerve to tell someone, like, the, 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 those are narcissistic traits. Like, the idea, like, I'm going to tell you what you're dealing with isn't doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. Or... What you what your what your motivation is or your yeah. context is is like, but you don't know me. Ex- agreed, agreed. Yeah. You, yeah, you don't live my existence, right? right? Like, so how would you know? Like, how, like yeah. that's why that's why uh, white dudes get mad. Like, uh, and we talked about it in next week's episode, but a white dude got mad at me, I, and I do it every once in a while when it's apt. Is like, well, you can't. How could when when they're like, well, this won't bother me. Like, mm-hmm. uh, like in this case, the guy was like, oh, well, I don't care about uh, Nazi talk. It doesn't bother me. I don't. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't doesn't worry me. It's like, but how it doesn't? It's not directed at you. Mm-hmm. You're a white dude. You're, You're a white yeah. Catholic dude. That it doesn't. Mm-hmm. It's not directed at you. So how could you know if it bothers something? Like it has nothing to do with you. Mm-hmm. Right. You exactly. You can't yeah, say. Agreed. I don't like it. It doesn't bother me. So anytime I hear someone say it doesn't bother me, yeah. I'm like, you're a dummy because it doesn't. You're not even, you're not, there's no, there's no facts. You have no numbers. Mm-hmm. All you're saying is I, me is fine. Right. I'm a narcissist. Yeah. And if it doesn't bother me, it shouldn't bother anyone else. Yes. 
<laughs> Agreed. But, but you're not Superman. The shit that bothers you. It's just you just picking and choosing what you think you should be bothered with. It's just, yes. yeah, again, it, 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 when, when, with the Kathleen Wynne incident, I guess that's like just male fragility. Right, right. Yeah, where it's just like, oh, well, it doesn't move. Fun. Like, on. why are you cursing around? Why are you mad about Dead it? Like, on, it, if yes. it? If it didn't exist and you didn't care, like, yeah. like for me, I don't even debate flat earthers. I don't even argue with them. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Climate change deniers. Yeah. Like, none of I'm just looking at their idiots, yeah. and I don't care. Uh-huh. <laughs> if Kathleen, if I was, like, the, the idea that you're upset that she says that she had to deal with sexism, uh-huh. like, w- if you didn't believe it exists, why do you even care? Mm-hmm. <laughs> why are you angry? Exactly. Why does it right, trigger right. you? Why are you triggered by that statement, by her own experience? Right, and then and then and then these are the same type of people that will blame her right. for triggering them for yes. their emotions. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Yo, my, the, one of the best advice I was given in life is uh, know thyself. I um, yeah. I don't like people triggering me. This is just what I mean. I don't like people triggering me, and I don't get mad at them for triggering me. I take the time to understand why is this triggering me, because then it leads to something insightful about myself. As about to, uh, as opposed to, um, um, as opposed to no, it just leads to a better understanding of who I am as a human being. It's like, oh wow, yeah, I don't like talking that black shit. No, I'm kidding. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm tired of hearing that black shit. They the fucking nerve, right? Like, stop talking your black shit. It makes me upset, yeah. and it's your fault that I'm upset. Right. Like, like, like King made that point next week when she talks about. Uh, how it's like the entitlement of you being upset and thinking someone should stop doing stuff, right? Posting on their wall because you're upset, like, mm-hmm. like what the f- like it's like and coming from a person who's about like if you're about free speech, these are the free speech fucking I'm I'm open to Nazi ideas, uh-huh. but but the, what they're saying is I if art or ideas trigger me, I don't want to hear it. Right. You better shut that shit down. Yeah. They're telling you to shut yeah. your shit down yeah. because it bothers them. Yeah, do do you see this as a evolutionary process because in the good old days the only reality you had to care about is the king <laughs> or the one in charge right yeah and now we're evolving it's gone from um um i'm skipping you know i'm fucking up history i'm oversimplifying history but we're gonna go from the king to uh white people and now we're at the point where um like you have to understand like the minority groups you have to now understand the reality and these white dudes are like, I, fuck that shit, man. Fuck. I th- I think you're you when you always talk about this, right? Like you always talk about how they haven't healed. White people haven't healed. Mm. It's like there's been psychic damage done to these people, and, and and now there's no coincidence that like majority of white males are killing themselves mm. in in the United States, or mm. or you know like uh, mm-hmm. or killing other people. Mm. They, they we came up in a system, mm. I, and and this is the, the America and Canada. I I don't know. It, it was bad. It, it was a different kind of bad, but it was bad. We the, don't deny it. We didn't have slavery and shit like that. Right, we did. right, right, right. So uh, we did. We did. It, like it, just different terms, uh-huh. different ideas. Uh-huh. So indentured servitude, white people and black people and everyone were kind of mixed up into that. Mm, yeah. And then at some point, the the people and it was about economics. Yeah. And then at some because you couldn't come to the country if you weren't rich, mm-hmm. or you had to come to the country. You owed money. You had to work that debt off, and your family had to work that debt off. Yep. But there was a limited a time, right? You didn't, you weren't a, you weren't a slave for the, your entire generations and generations. Right. What happened was the owners were like, "Hey, we're losing our workforce. Yeah. There's been a lot of uprising. Yeah. Uh, white and black people have been uniting. Yeah. So what they did is they created white race. Yep. yep. And they created Whiteness. this white race, what? and they made these people uh-huh. the overseers. Uh-huh. They made them. That's where you get the term cracker, right? Because <laughs> they crack the whip. Yeah. So you, you, they made white people, poor white people, middle management, uh-huh. and they said, "Hey." You're, they uh, bestowed them with, with uh, whiteness. Uh-huh. And so now you have this psychic damage from then uh-huh. to now of white people thinking they're just like the fucking people that fucked them over. Yeah. Like you give, like, they did this for how many centuries? So now you're dealing with people who still don't understand that they're not those people. Yeah, yeah. But they identify with those people. But, they identify with whiteness. Uh, but re- real quick, for all you literate folks out there or who like to read books... I'm going to recommend the book uh, Bacon Rebellions, Bacon's Rebellion, mm-hmm. to get a, a great understanding, uh, get a better understanding of the concept of whiteness. Now, it starts out slow. It just gives you a shitload of story, and in the end, it ties it all together. 
And and it just helps you understand how, yeah, we needed to create this concept of whiteness so these poor whites won't unite with these uh, yep. uh, free blacks and these uh, um, and 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 these natives. Because before they like they they like Bacon was uh, um, what's his name? His full name? Uh, blah blah blah. Mister Bacon. Bacon is his last name. And uh, Nathaniel no. Bacon. Right, yeah. So he used to organize militias to go against the king, like he was a pain in the ass to the yeah. king. And yeah, uh, there was always revolts. It was that there was tons of because of these revolts, exactly. So they said, "Yo, we need to put this." No, after he died, they said, "We need to put this. We need to stop this shit. We need to calm these rebellions down." Oh, I know. Let's create whiteness. We're not going to give them money, but we're going to make them feel like they're as rich as us, as cool as us, as powerful as us but deep down yes. inside you're still a broke motherfucking poor white trash still a, well yeah and, and, and like I, another book to read is called white trash and it's <laughs> the history of that and they hated white people they hated poor white people uh-huh. if you were an orphan uh-huh. go fuck yourself <laughs> they hated white they hated white people if you were below a certain income you were dirty Yo, and shitty and class, lazy yeah. and garbage yeah but uh, you know, at the, you know, at the same time, it was like they they it, the, after 150 years of making white people the middle management, mm-hmm. it stuck, and they were like they believed what it was, and you know they were they were servants, they weren't slaves. Mm-hmm. Don't you ever call me a fucking slave, right? Right. And then and then and then you see it now today when you like you're like oh why do why do working class poor white people vote against their best interests? It's because yeah. they still identify. It's narcissism. Yeah. There's no. Identity, <laughs> their identity is the one percent that gave them that identity, and they connect to that, yeah, even against their own best interests because the because de- the delusion is so goddamn so strong. Go- goddamn strong, yo, quick story, so yo. strong. Yeah. Uh, my brother, the Trump supporter, fuck, okay, I'm, I'm out the closet <laughs> with this shit, right? The Trump supporter, <laughs> oh, you were a while ago, so uh, <laughs> Trump supporter slash Doug Ford supporter, right. Oh, uh, fuck. Did you see how many... Uh, uh, sorry, this week when you posted on your wall, I've never seen someone use so many exclamation <laughs> and question marks in my life. Like, that says something... Like, no offense to your brother, but that says something about you. Chief, me. dog, man. Anyway, so um, I, rem- I told them, we were going back and forth, and I said, dude, you know you're... you're you know, uh, come to terms with the fact that you're broke and powerless. Now, he yeah. thought that I was trying to insult him uh, you know, we'll make make take shots at his work ethics, which was completely wrong. But it made that, me re- that is an insult. Eh? That is an insult. But, but what I'm trying to say is, dude, you are not on Doug Ford's radar. You know, you're a pawn for Doug Ford, but you are not the guy who. Okay, I need to make a decision. Let me call this guy up. You know, what I mean? or I need to um 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 uh, 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 do something that's gonna put a lot of money in my people's pocket. Well, when he says my people, he's not talking about you. He's talking, you know. You're a pawn in the game. But there's a lot of self-delusion, a lot of I don't know who I am. I'm not at peace with who I am as a human being. I'm going to pretend that I'm part of these rich elite guys and go vote conservative. But but getting back to whiteness, um, (laughs) I'm going to go back to I ain't got shit in life, but at least I'm not a goddamn nigger. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's the the amount of self hate that someone like you. Yeah. I don't mean to be talking shit about your family. This I, get, I, know, I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I don't know. Because I think I'm, I'm not, I don't want to be disrespectful, but there's a amount, there's a level of for Candace Owens. There's a level of self hate. Self hate, yeah, and and I, I don't even believe Candace Owens believes what she believes, but there has to be a level of self hate to go because she truly wants to be like. Even if you go, oh well, she doesn't believe in what she's saying. Yeah. She wants whiteness because she wants power yes. and money. Yeah. Yes, well said. She wants to be an elite. Yes. Uh huh. So she wants whiteness. Yeah. I, th- what I was saying is like to your brother uh, being called poor is an insult. It's not an insult to me. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is an insult to a Republican yes. to be called poor because poor is lazy. And and if you read the book White Trash, going back to it, that is one of the things that they used to call all those white people. Yes. They were lazy. They were horrible. It's they amazing. like they were yes. worth nothing. Yeah. But lazy was the number one thing that popped out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that's, and, and, what, that's what they talked about. Called them lazy. I'm glad you made that point. And here's the interesting part. He is in no way lazy. He's a hard worker, very talented. Uh, probably the probably the one thing maybe he's doubtful of his skills, maybe and, and shit like that. But um, um, he's got all these great talents. But he's like all those poor people who work. Hard and can't make ends meet. It's a system. It's a system, right? You, like that, it's a fuck system. <laughs> yes, the, the ninety. Like, do you understand? Well, I mean, you understand, uh, but it's two percent who's making it, who's doing it great. Mm-hmm. It's two percent. Yeah. Uh huh. 
<laughs> it's like it's not about your 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 work ethic. Uh, it's not a work ethic thing. It's it is a system that is designed for you to continuously be indebted. Yeah, it's, it's, I, uh, I I I always I, I I've I've dealt with this. I don't mean to switch up the topic, people, but I've dealt yeah. with this a lot. Where like I'll be on a TV show or I'll do get something and I have like like anger uh-huh. from a white guy. Mm. Like anger, like you don't deserve this, or you only got this because of this, and I'm like, I didn't understand it, yeah, but I get it now. Uh-huh. And it's white narcissism. It's coming up against something where you're like, how did this person get this? The idea that this person can be better than you at something, yeah, or smarter than yes. you, yeah, that's like all those conversations it doesn't about compute. Uh, white privilege, and yeah. um, uh, <laughs> well, I guess, uh, I guess I have to give it to the colored guy. I guess, uh, um, um, Edwards, no. Yeah, you can't you can't be talented. You can't be smart. Like 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 we're talking about next week is the guy. One of the things he pointed out in his comment to me is that I'm not as smart as I think I am. And the and my only uh, my only uh, currency is my color is the color Jesus of my skin, which is like it's racist dog whistle bullshit, Jesus right? Like Christ. you yeah. only got something because you're black. Yeah, is like yeah, yeah. I worked hard <laughs> for my shit. Yeah, yeah, you don't work hard. You're just you're just <laughs> scamming the system. But that's that's the narcissism of it. It's the I can't understand. Uh-huh. That racism is a thing mm-hmm. that affects you, and I can't understand how you could be better at something than me. Uh-huh. <laughs> it, it's 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 very telling, and it, and it, and it it hurts, and then be, and then also the white fragility of just talking about race was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then and then also the interest conversion where it's uh, 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 where it's like, well, you know, you're chasing away allies, and it's like, well, because. I'm not dealing with race in a way that you need me to for you to understand. Uh-huh. So it, uh, so my uh, your interests and my problem do not converge. Right. Because it's like, well, you know, fuck it. You need to. <laughs> why be, uh, you said it from the beginning of the season when you talked about of this of this podcast. You said like white people have are damaged uh-huh. and they haven't dealt with shit. The, yeah. The the, uh, the the pain from. Um the how do you call it? Shit. The same reason why we put people in prison, not just yeah. the punishment aspect, but the rehabilitation uh, part. That has never yeah. happened for those guys. Um, um, I, I, I felt that after reading that white fragility piece, uh, yeah. which should be shared <laughs> with, with everyone, um, I, I, I felt like asking you how. How would you grade your white fragility skills, your your avoidance of white fragility skills? <laughs> One to ten. Like, what do you mean? Like, uh, I, <laughs> could I've you, gotten Could better. you work an office job with white people? <laughs> <laughs> I, if I have, a, if you're I a black a, dude, if you're a black person working in an office, the one skill you need to have that yeah. you can't put on your resume is I can navigate through white fragility. Yes. No problem. It, it, it's code switching. I can feel it. You can feel it because, like, because, like, I'm like, there's just certain like, I haven't worked in an office or a job like that for a long time. Uh-huh. I usually work factories, and I'm like, I could do it. I, I hear racist shit at factories all the time, and I'm like, right. I don't have the energy mm. to get into some shit with you. Yeah, like I don't, I don't care enough. I have to leave this place, uh-huh. and I don't have the energy. So. I kind of and I, I'd probably be a sellout in a in, in, in a situation where I just like uh-huh. I don't agree or anything. I'm just uh huh uh-huh. like that. Just like uh-huh. oh yeah, that came out of your mouth. <laughs> no, but, but I don't fight. I won't fight you. Have you. To be careful to not step on white for just absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I, I, it, it, I, you don't show up to work with your pro black pop, black power t shirts, <laughs> calling white people. Well, you, and and you're, you're also talking about like a situation where it's not even that where it's like racist shit. It's just like you can't be honest. Yeah. With your narrative because of the white gaze. You always have to talk about your problems, yeah. your ideas, your stories, everything yeah. with the white gaze. So, like, yeah, I, you completely feel it, right? Like yeah. You completely go, if I talk about this shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I'm, but uh, on the other hand, I'm also, like, I'm also a person who gra- grew up. I mean, I have older, two older sisters, but I was, like, I was basically kind of an only child. I was mm. I'm very much by, I'm happy to be by myself a lot. So uh-huh. I have this... There's a little bit of a filter that's not there for me uh-huh. that I like. I, I, where people look at me like a weirdo uh-huh. a bit, like it's just like Gavin's people have a clash with me a lot. Like, I clash mm. with white dudes a lot. Oh, uh, lately, uh, it, 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 or, or, my so, whole life. Oh, your whole life. Like this, yeah, there's just, there's just been this thing where I'm like, because I don't, I, I didn't grow up with an idea of 
and it's and, it, and it's, as as I've gotten older, it's gotten less. But I I, I don't I I didn't grow up with with any with an idea of myself. And I'm not saying that black people have this, but there is a bit of it where you feel a bit inferior, where you're mm. like, yeah. oh, I don't deserve this, or I, yeah. I'm not going to get this. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't like even in this business, I didn't have that. I just like I was just like, oh no, I deserve. Interesting. This is curious. You mean during your time in CTV? Mm-hmm. You didn't have to work. You could you use the same mindset you had when you were working in the fact. You didn't have to avoid navigate through white fragility. <laughs> I and I, I I've had blow ups and stuff, <laughs> and uh, because it's inevitable, right? Like yeah. like you get to a level where you're like you're on TV and you're on, the only black person right. on a na- on a network. Right, right. You're going to deal with some shit. I've had blow ups where they're like giving my dressing room away. It just sounds oh, wow. diva ish. Uh-huh. It sounds diva ish, but once you like, like, because it always comes off diva ish when you get to a, le- a level gotcha. in this business. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. It sounds like ego, but you're like, why is it always me? Gotcha. Why am I the o- always the one that's left out? Or yeah, the, yes, I have more than a white guy that's lower than me, but I earned my way up there. It wasn't no, like given that? to me. Yeah, yeah. I it's, fought it's, to get there. Uh-huh. It's it's amazing. It's interesting how you, you, you're feeling guilty about admitting. Um, 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 how you were entitled to the same shit that people on, on your level exactly are entitled to. Uh, yeah, but you, but you don't have many people to complain with because people yeah. on your level uh-huh. don't look at it as a big deal because yes. they only see, like, you, you ever deal with white people when shit happens and they're like, what the fuck you're freaking out with? But they don't understand the history of that yeah, shit yeah, happening yeah, to you. Yeah, 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 I get you. I get you. Right. So, and then, and then who's beneath you is like, Motherfucker, I would kill to be where you are. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. okay. <laughs> so you like you don't have it's you just come off like a diva. You just come this off arrogant. Dude. I mean, yo, I meant to say that. Um, so me working in the corporate world, I like to think that I have like uh, nine out of ten. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. being a little arrogant here, but I think my avoiding white fragility, nine out of ten, I give myself. But every once in a while, I will fuck up, and because sometimes I'll get comfortable. I'll start believing that me and this white person are cool or we've yeah. known each other and I'll yeah. slip. <laughs> so uh, r- real quick story I got to tell you is um, this one time walking, this director comes up to me and starts talking to me about a technology that I am not familiar with, right? And then he says, yeah, he's, he's saying, hey, how's so-and-so project going? Uh, yada, yada, yada. And then I remember my black coworker worked on that technology, yeah. Without thinking, I said, "Oh, my bad, bro. No, you mean you mean to talk to the other guy?" I honestly thought that he mistaked me for the other black guy. <laughs> bro, homeboy <laughs> turned red like a yeah. motherfucker. I yeah. have no idea. Seriously, it's only weeks later at some get together, right? He brought it up, said, "Yo, man, you really made me feel shitty." I'm like, "What are we talking about?" Yeah. Uh, when you thought that I I mistake you for the other black dude, uh, even though he kind of did. Uh, because, because yeah, I don't, how did you make him and, feel shitty? And he said, "I don't see race." I said, "What the fuck does that yeah, have to you, do with you, anything?" You're, ma- you're making it worse, dude. You don't see race. Holy shit! Dude, I started to feel. Oh wow! Damn, I fucked up, man. I I stepped on his white fragility. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, see that? That's what I mean. Is like like how you said. The, I don't mean like I went through life like fucking. I'm militant, whatever. Right, I, right. I'm like, I was like how you were like, sometimes you get comfortable yes. and you think, oh, I can talk openly with someone. Yeah, yeah. I, that same shit happened to me. I was doing background work on a show once <laughs> and they started calling me the other black guy on set and I just didn't, like, I'm like, I just, I'll go with that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And so I went with the other black guy's name and then eventually the two of us were in the room together uh-huh. And then they called names, and I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck!" <laughs> and then she, the woman realized that she was co- talking to the wrong black person, <laughs> and I felt like shit. I fe- and I'm like, "It was not me. You didn't take the time to look at me as a human you fucking being." Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but I'm used to this. She's I'm not. Used, yo, I'm used to being confused with the other black guy. Holy <laughs> shit! I wish I could explain. Look, I wasn't trying to make you feel like shitty, but if you walked a mile in my <laughs> shoes. I am so used to being, you know, can be a skinny, light-skinned black guy. They mistake, you know. <laughs> Tyrone. Yeah, but again, 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 white fragility, they never had to deal with it. So they don't understand 
they, they don't understand that it's like maybe if this happened once in a while in my life or like once yes, or twice, yeah, yeah, it would be fine. But yeah. you don't understand it continuously happens. Like I just, it's like if I was gambling on my fucking <laughs> on on racism or I was gambling on being a, a racial bias, yes. dude, I I would win. I would be a rich <laughs> motherfucker. I'd put it on. It's gonna happen it's every gonna time. Happen. Every time. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna make it through this competition. Absolutely. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be treated like the worst person on the cast. Absolutely. I will bet on it every fucking time. You yeah, fuck. Oh, but then, shit. then white people go, oh, but isn't it like what self fulfilling prophecy? Isn't it just? Uh-huh. It's like it's not. You know why it's not self fulfilling prophecy? Because uh-huh. I can talk to B Black uh-huh. about the same situation, uh-huh. and he yeah. has his own stories yes. about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, this is uh, 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 this triggered. It. I was in uh, this happened. Uh, I had a comedy show. We were in the, what do you call it? the red room, green room, red room, um, the, the room where we hang out for comics. There. Oh, the green. green room. <laughs> I was like, what? Fucking. What is this like? Uh, Twin Peaks. The red. Up the, turn, the green. The green room. Right. The red, room. <laughs> the red room. I think that's like a prostitution. <laughs> thing, the red room. <laughs> We're in the red room, and then we got our Russian prostitutes. All right, comedy. <laughs> the, the, the green room. Yeah, the green room. Uh, yeah, so someone had left their notepad there, right? Uh, yeah. the, 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 uh... Anyways, I was going all crazy going, hey, is that yours? 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 Yeah. One white comic picked up on what I was doing. He goes, you're, you're going to accuse you, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> motherfucker. Daddy. Somebody better claim the fucking uh, uh, laptop because it's not mine. Uh, uh, what did I say? Uh, notepad, whatever the fuck. That's why when these motherfuckers talk about, oh, well, you know, it's not a group thing you deal with or racism doesn't exist. You can't even, like, I can't even, like, your argument's done. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah, all right, okay, you don't believe. Because it's like, how can you tell a whole group of people uh, who deal with this shit? Yeah. That it doesn't exist. Uh, it goes back to Kathleen Wien. How can you tell a whole group of people uh-huh. that they don't notice this shit, mm. that it doesn't exist? Like, it's like, okay. And, yeah. then, and then there's statistics on it. And then there's, you know, yeah. there's, it's like, it doesn't exist, though. Yeah. Like, you got to be a special kind of narcissist to go, no, you're just, no, you just have a negative attitude. Yeah. <laughs> you hate white people. That's what it is. <laughs> How do I turn this into me? <laughs> it's like, you hate white people. That's beautiful. Fuck. I mean, wow. I, I, I'm fascinated with what. White parents teach their kids about they race. Don't. They don't. <laughs> they don't. They don't teach them about race. <laughs> like conversation on race. And then well, like, I, like I'm writing this joke about this idea. Like I, I, like, I sort of feel sorry for white dudes. Like, you can go to any park and see a statue of a dude that looks almost like you. Mm. And it's not like LeBron James. Like, you right. can say that, but LeBron James is one of the greatest athletes in the world. Mm. I can see a fucking fat white dude who showed up early. <laughs> that's, what, that's, his only, that's his only accomplishment. He went to law school and showed up early. <laughs> Like it, it, anyone For can real, achieve man. that? Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> it, they're not in shape. They're not like they're not like LeBron. <laughs> LeBron James is like a superior human being. Uh-huh. <laughs> that, that's what I got to look up to. You get uh-huh. to look up like some fucking what, like Sir John A. McDonald? Like Sir John he was a pasty white drunk. Like that's uh-huh. easy. Yeah, yeah. He came here. He was the first to get here, uh-huh. and he was drunk. Hey, 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 hey! He's the first <laughs> prime minister. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Whatever. All right, we 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 just went over five minutes, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up on that one. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Did you did you want to throw anything in or? No, no, that's perfect, man. I got everything in. Okay. That uh, even when we hit the twenty five, I love that I got my two jokes in, three jokes in. That's all that matters. Get. You're always prepared with one. <laughs> that's what I like. But it, 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 this is good because I think it's kind of a good prep I for next it. week when yeah. we get more in depth. But yeah, there's a like kind of these concepts that are yeah, and you made a great point. These concepts are important to understand. Uh-huh. I think I think reading and learning these concepts uh-huh. is the only way we can empower ourselves. Bang, bang, yeah. yo! Well, yeah. respect for the Derek Bell. I had to look him up. Um, yeah, man, that's impressive. Obama got in trouble for taking a photo with him, right? What? Yeah, because again, white fragility. Like they oh. they thought he was like they were like oh he thought they thought he was talking about how all. Uh, white supremacy, the 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 system is white supremacy, and you know how you know how yeah, white people are. Yeah, like, yeah. How dare you? Yeah. And what he what he wasn't talking about that. Yeah. Fuck, we and got a just, long way to go, man. <laughs> yeah, fuck, and not in our lifetime. <laughs> What's that? Not in and, our and, lifetime. And, exactly. It's also it goes back. What's the article about? Um, you can't use the master's tools to descend, to to take apart the master's house. It goes back to that. Like it's oh, like wow. it's not even our fight. It's their yeah. fight. They yeah. like you can't tell a narcissist he's not a narcissist. Yeah. Ex- they gotta look at themselves and go, what the fuck? Yep. 
<laughs> and, and, and this is like again here here comes you know for white fragility uh-huh. I when we say white people we don't mean every white person uh-huh. that's not that's not what it is uh-huh. talking we're talking about, white people as a concept as a concept man as that's a concept. Concept. And, but that's part of the problem um, uh, uh, what's the name of that uh, lady who made that quote about uh, small minds great minds small minds talk about people great minds talk about I discuss ideas yes we're discussing ideas and yes. the small minded person will take this as yo they're fucking calling me cracker on this show right right the, the the person that has no identity right. will go i'm a white person <laughs> right oh you say that about black people <laughs> 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 The what about? What about? <laughs> hey, real quick, dude. Uh, talking to you nearly got me in trouble last night. <laughs> oh, l- let me just pause this and then. Uh, oh, yeah. sorry, yeah. Just, uh, no. yeah. 